The problem with time management is that it treats all hours equally. If you want to get things done, you have to separate your time accordingly. First of all, you can't get bogged down with distractions. You must isolate yourself from the things that distract you. Most issues that distract and exhaust your time are micro-tasks and small activities. Also, managing your energy levels is just as important as managing your time. When you fail to use your creative energy or start neglecting your own creative side, you end up wasting your creative time and leaving yourself with little energy for the more important creative tasks. So focus on your energy, make sure you're getting enough rest and physical exercise while giving yourself creative breaks at least once a day. Your priorities should come first and foremost, and the only way to live by this motto is to learn to say no. You'll feel better about accomplishing goals that you've set for yourself if other people's demands do not tie you down. Many of us are still living at the mercy of our natural energy levels. But what if you could take control, harness and tap into our energy when we need them the most? The author describes an energy cycle that can help one to work more productively. He starts with the green energy zone. This is a state of high energy and focus. High energy and focus give us the strength to work more productively without burnout. The yellow energy zone follows. He describes this zone as a balance between the red zone and the green zone. The yellow zone is a state of being neutral, which means not being tired or highly energized to work, while the red zone is a state of having low energy to work. Using the best of your energy to get the best out of work is key to staying productive. To do this, you should learn to utilize your green energy from your energy cycle. Your green energy would remain as long as you work passionately or focus on your passion. Passion is the thing that makes you move beyond your present circumstances. It can be well hidden, but it's that drive you use to overcome the obstacles in your path. It's that thing that keeps you going through long projects or stressful situations. Look for something you're passionate about, something that may even keep you up at night thinking about it. If you have a passion, others will see it in how you live your life. While working on your passion, focus on a micro-task that would make a difference in your life. Even when passion is the fuel for your focus, you should have a target to measure your progress and impact. With so many distractions, it's hard to focus on the task at hand. While staying connected and informed is essential, letting your phone or email take over is not a good idea. Minimizing distraction will allow you to progress on small and large activities that will yield positive results by the end of the day. Using the best workspace without distraction also demands tremendous energy to get the work done. The trick to managing your time is to take advantage of this green zone. Green zone tasks are the ones you enjoy doing, aren't stressful, and don't take up too much of your time. You should devote more time to green zone tasks than red zone tasks.